guys, this is Erin from ErinEflin.com, and in this video, I want to show you how to update your uh, internal URLs, for example, if you have changed um, domain names. So in my case, here's a really old post, and I stuck some um, fake links at the bottom because I've already done this, but I wanted to show you how to do it. So my old domain name was EEFDesigns.com, and if I hover over this, you'll see that in the bottom corner of my screen, um, the link is going to EEFDesigns.com slash B-School Prelaunch Thoughts. Um, and then here's another link, and this is going to eefdesigns.com slash March Simple Business Bundle. Um, so these links need to be updated. I want them to go to my new domain name, which is erineflynn.com. But the links did not get updated when I merged my sites together and changed domain names. So this is how you're going to do it. Um, a really quick, easy way to update all of those internal links. So from your dashboard, you're going to go to Plugins and add new. And we're going to search for Velvet Blues. And we want Velvet Blues update URLs. It's by velvetblues.com. I already know I want this, but you can click on details to learn more about it. But I'm just going to go ahead and click install now and OK. I'm going to click activate plugin. And now on the left hand side, I can go to tools and update URLs. So the first thing you want to do is you want to type in your old URL. So eefdesigns.com was my old one. And then you want to put in your new URL, which is now erineflynn.com. Now you want to make sure and they recommend that you back up your website just in case you type in the wrong things. Um, I'm just going to look really closely and make sure that I've typed them in correctly. I have. Um, and then I'm going to check all of these boxes except for the last one. Um, this should only be changed on development site. So don't click the last one, but you can check all of the others. Um, and I should only have two links that are outdated because I've run this before. So let's click update URLs now. And there we go, two content items. So now if I go back to this page and I refresh it, and I scroll down, oops, too far. You'll see that this link is now going to erineflynn.com slash bschool prelaunch thoughts. And this one was not updated. So apparently I had another link on there that I, I was not aware of that needed updating. Um, but this one was not updated. This is still going to efdesigns.com. Now the reason why is because it has a www dot in front. So now we need to go back and we need to add a www dot. Now, my uh, domain is set up so that if you go to erineflynn.com without the www dot, it will automatically add it in. So I don't actually need to put the www dot in this part. Uh, I'm just going to put it in the old URL and it will just go to erineflynn.com. So I'm going to go ahead and check all of the boxes except the last one again and click update URLs now. All right, so here it says my URLs have been updated. It says two content items. I think what this was, the reason it says two, even though there's only one link now that I'm thinking about it, is because there was a revision um, of that post. So it saved a revision with the old URL in it. Um, but really, there was only one actual, actual link. But if you had other... Um, items in here like attachments or links or excerpts, it would update those as well. But since I've already run this, we're only seeing um, updates for those links there. So let me refresh this again. And you'll see the first link, erineflynn.com, second link, erineflynn.com. Now if I click on one of those, as you can see, it takes me to www.erineflynn.com slash the post name. So that's really easy how to update those. Um, but now that we've done that, um, one, I recommend donating because if you found it useful, that's a nice thing to do. But two, we no longer need this plugin because all of our URLs have been updated. So we can go ahead and go to plugins and where is it? Deactivate and we can delete it because um, there's no point in having plugins on our website that we don't need. Um, it slows your website down and you have to keep them updated and there's just no point to it. So since we've already run the updates and we've got the website working the way we want, 
and we don't need it to continue running the website, we delete it and we're done. So that's how you update your internal URLs quickly and easily. That is an awesome plugin. I highly recommend you use it if you've changed your domain name. And I highly recommend donating to those awesome people who made it because how easy was that? That was great. Thank you for watching. Bye.